Hi everybody. We're going to get started on our pop art project today. And I've gone around my house and just collected a few items that are everyday items, but they're kind of iconic items too. So I have a fork, an old Coca-Cola bottle that I actually used to put all the dandelions and daisies in that my daughter gets for me. And I have a Tootsie Pop sucker. So after you find the item that you want to draw, you're going to have put that in front of you. So I think I want to draw the Coca-Cola bottle today. So I'm just going to set these other things aside. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the shape of the bottle. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to move it out of the way so I can get my paper in here. I'm going to turn my paper tall ways since I do have a tall bottle. I want to start in the middle of my paper and I'm going to look at the shape. Obviously, the top of the bottle is pretty narrow. I'm going to start out with a short curve for that. Now you can pick any item that is iconic to you because that's what pop art was all about is everyday items and turning them into artwork. You could take a Coca-Cola bottle which there are thousands and thousands and probably millions of these made every single day. So I'm looking at the flare of the mouthpiece here and trying to get that little bit of a curve shape. You can see I'm drawing pretty light and I usually draw light until I have it just the way I want it. All right, so I'm gonna come down the neck of the bottle and then it starts to curve outward like the shoulders of the bottle here. And then it begins to curve back in. I think that looks pretty good. Now I just have to make the other side match. Okay. Just finish up drawing the bottom of it. And I'm also going to curve the bottom with a gentle little smile curve to keep that cylinder shape. Alright. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to start on my details once I have the shape that I like. And take your time to get your shape just right. Don't rush through it. Whatever you're drawing. I see a big area on here where they have the Coca-Cola written out and also some information about it registered trademark. And I see these little details in the glass. And I think those will be really cool details in the drawing too. Alright, so I just about have all my details. Now when I write out Coca-Cola up here, I'm going to take my time and kind of block out where I'm going to put the letters. So I can see a little bit of the first C right in this area. And then over here I can see some of the second C. So I'm going to put a little bit of that second C for cola 
in this area so that way I don't make my coca too big. So I'm gonna take my time and draw that out. All right, I took several minutes to draw out my Coca-Cola emblem and finish my bottle up. I decided that I didn't want to put all of this extra information onto my drawing. So I just used a little artist license and just raised my lines up here to kind of fill in that gap space. So I really like the shape and how it's looking right now. So I think I'm going to go ahead and start with some outlining. I have a thicker Sharpie and a thinner Sharpie and I'm going to use both of those. But we're going to turn our drawing into um, something kind of inspired by Roy Lichtenstein's Wham! painting that you saw earlier on the slideshow. So I'm going to make an explosion around my bottle also before I start with my Sharpies. So I'm just going to do a series of these shapes, some thin, some wide. I can go right off the paper and for me it helps if I turn the paper as I go. You could also do a poofy cloud shape. Hmm. That looks pretty good. I went too far down there. Something felt funny. There we go. Just kind of play with your lines a little bit and if you make them light you should have no problem changing them. So I'm going to look at it. It looks okay. It looks balanced. I might have a few more big lines coming out of here. I like that. I'll probably make those nice thick lines coming out in different directions. I want this to look very exciting, kind of like an explosion. Inspired by those comic book explosions. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start outlining and I'll come right back. Alright. So I have finished working on my background. As you can see, I have some thin lines, some medium, and some very heavy lines in here. Now I just have to go ahead and add my outline to my bottle too. When you are outlining, you're always going to get a smoother line with your marker if you pull it towards you as much as you can. So I'm going to start up at the top of the line and I'm going to try and pull the sharpie towards my body. I want to have a nice thick line down at the bottom.
Okay, I have finished my outlining and I've also kind of gone through and chosen my colors. So I tried to pick a variety of warm colors. They got a little mixed together. And cool colors. I've also tried to stay with nice bright colors because I want this to look like kind of like an explosion of fun. I don't get to drink Coca-Cola very often, so I want it to kind of feel like a treat. So I've decided for the actual bottle, I am going to use the marker watercolor method because I want to kind of give it a watery look. So I am not coloring everything in, I'm leaving some white spaces. This also helps because all I have are these skinny markers right now. So I'm just deciding where I want to put my color. And I know that when I put the water on here with my paintbrush, it's going to pull the marker color into the white spaces. Now things that I want to stay nice and solid and not have that washed out feeling to them like the letters. I can either use a colored sharpie marker or permanent marker or I can wait until after the paper has dried and I can go back and add color to those areas. So those are two different techniques that you can use. But I know that this is going to fill in the white spots which is really going to help me. And I don't have to be super careful and make sure that I get every little white spot filled in because the water is going to help me do that. Okay, as you can see, I have finished with my color. Uh, lots of bright colors. I kind of alternated the warm colors and the cool colors so that they would really pop and kind of vibrate against each other. So now I'm going to finish this up with a little bit of water and a paintbrush. I'm going to start in here. I'm going to go along the edge of my blue and you can see right away with those washable Crayola markers, I am picking up a lot of blue and I'm going to go right into the edge of the green. And it's just like using my water colors. So I'm going to continue to do this. Now areas that I don't want to soften up, I'm going to try and keep those nice and dry so I'm not even going quite to the edge of the bottle. I have nice thick black outlines that are going to help me to keep the water just here in the bottle. I don't want to get it on the yellow polka dots and smear those. So I will show you how this all looks here in a couple of minutes. I'm also going to uh, add water to the orange area out there. You probably noticed how messy that was um, colored along the edges. And I did that knowing that I was going to put water onto it. Okay, so I finished adding water to the bottle. I still have a lot of blue and green on my paintbrush, so I'm going to wash that off real quick. I don't want to add that to the orange because I'm afraid it's going to turn it brown. And I want to keep my colors nice and bright. So my brush is clean and wet, and I'm going to pull that orange into the white areas. Again, having nice thick black outlines is going to help so that I don't get the water into areas I don't want it. Okay, I love this watercolor marker technique. It's really fast and really fills in the areas that I didn't color, but it still keeps the colors nice and bright. See, it's still wet. I'm going to give it about 10 or 15 minutes for the paper to dry. 
I can go back and put any finishing touches on it and sign it. And I think this turned out really good. I think Coca-Cola will probably be giving me a call and asking me to design their next advertising campaign. Thanks guys, hope you have fun with your pop art explosion.